Um, so if this is your first time uh, with me, my name is Ronnie. I used to teach for Yoga to the People in New York City, and I've been living in Tel Aviv for the past couple of years, and right now I teach for Yoga to the People Tel Aviv. We've opened a Yoga to the People in Tel Aviv. Uh, so it is 4 p.m. for me, and I'm thinking it's good morning for most of you, so good morning. Um, if it's any good afternoon, so good afternoon. Um, I'm not gonna put music on my end. I'm gonna put it super, super, super soft, uh, just in case you won't be able to hear me right. But if you wanna put music on your end, if you wanna put my music, I'm gonna, in a second, uh, put my Spotify um, here on the chat, so you'll be able to just take if you want i'm gonna be using this playlist today so you can just put it on and in any case i'm gonna put my, my music super 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 soft to the point where it will be uh, very unnoticeable so totally up to you if you want music on your end of the mat or if you feel good um the way you are um all right so let's get started and let's make it to our mat into your child's pose bala asana Find your hips to the heels. Relax your forehead to the mat. And choose whether you want to stretch your arms in front with the palms facing down. Awesome, I get to see some more people. Welcome everyone. Um, so allow yourself to find a bala asana that feels right for you. So maybe it's um, sending your arms all the way towards the front of the mat with the palms facing down and maybe you want your arms and the sides of the body palms facing up and i'm going to put my music here and if you're going to feel that this is too much or that my sound gets muffled let me know and i'm gonna move my music further away And as you're making it into your child's pose, hi, Heidi, good to see you again. Uh, just allow yourself to soften a little bit further, deeper down to the mat. So you've made a decision to make it to your mat today. And now as you're lying here in child's pose, make another decision of making it to the mat. Really commit into that choice that you've taken to invest the next 60 moments in your breath, in your sensations, in the way you feel and breathe and move through your body. And allow yourself to ease into this Vala Asana. Notice if you're still holding something in the body. A lot of times we're holding this very gentle part of the body because we want to stay in control. It might be fingers and toes or your jaw or your tongue or your brows. And see if you can allow yourself to let go of all of those. And after you will allow yourself to let go of the body and soften a little bit further, deeper into your child's pose, see if you can let go of your thoughts, if you can let go of your expectations, and just open yourself up into the experience that belongs to you today. What am I made of with every inhaling? And what am I made of with every tail out and then gently exhale all the air out of the body soften yourself down further deeper all the way down to the mat take a long deep inhale in and open your lungs NHA. Offer yourself these vibrational breaths so you will really be able to kind of signal to yourself this is your time to let go, this is your time to soften into your body. 
ease into the moment you chose to create to yourself. And then gently start to travel with your fingers all the way towards the front of the mat. Let your elbows rise off the mat. Roots of the palms are raising up off the mat. Palms are raising up off the mat. Creating two small teethies with both hands. Keep your forehead relaxed down to the mat. And just stretch the arms all the way in front. And then tuck your tailbone down, back, and low towards the back of the mat, opening up into both different sides of the body and feeling the skin stretches over the ribs. Take a big inhale and expand. Find that new space inside. And H-A. It's so beautiful. We, I can see vibrational breath, how you're all softening down, even though you're all on mute. You really see how the body allows itself to let go. So really find it. That was so nice. And then gently interlace the fingers behind you and start to send the fingers up towards the ceiling. So we're still in our child's pose, but just interlace the fingers behind you. Try to send your fingers up towards the ceiling. And maybe you have enough flexibility in the shoulders to send them all the way towards the front of your room. Relax it all the way down. Send the fingers all the way towards the front. And let's take a few breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Keep your fingers interlaced. Keep reaching. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Relax the arms all the way. Travel with them all the way towards the front of the mat one more time and allow yourself to move around, move the hips from side to side, roll the forehead onto the mat, massaging the third eye. Start to awaken your body, start to generate the movement that resides within you. And from these gentle movements, we'll make it all the way to tabletop position, placing the shoulders over the wrists and the hip joints over the knees. As you're here in your tabletop, Notice you're not collapsing into your joints, but rather you're pressing it away so you feel the press through both of your palms. Then on an inhale, drop the belly, send the sit bones up, open chest, open throat, look all the way up towards the ceiling. And exhale, pull the navel in, drop the head heavy, open more space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, cow, belly drops, sit bones reach, chest opens, throat opens, beautiful. Exhale, cat, pulling the navel in, rounding the spine, dropping your head heavy, feel the press through both of your palms. Inhale, cow, belly drops, sit bones reach, chest opens, throat opens. Exhale, cat, pulling navel in, tucking chin, dropping head. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Hi, Coco. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Pause here in your cat when you're rounding your spine. Keep pressing through the palms and lift your knees a centimeter off the mat. Now drop the head heavy. Usually we're then holding the head, so drop it all the way heavy and start to notice the heat generates in the body. Breathe here. Notice you're not holding and tightening the breath. Inhale, breathe, expand. Exhale, keep your knees up, hovering over the mat. Inhale. Exhale, let go one more time. Inhale. And exhale, drop your knees down, drop the belly, send the sit bones up, open chest, open throat. And then bring yourself to neutral spine, straight back. Send the right arm all the way up. Open your chest towards the right side of your space. And swing it from the back all the way towards the front. Send the arm in front and the leg back. Lengthen your body in both different directions. Hug the rib cage inwards. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Bend the right elbow, send it towards the right side in a 90 degree angle towards the right side of your space. And then bend your left knee, send it in a 90 degree angle towards the left side. So we're still holding up, opening up here. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath the body. 
Inhale, open to your awkward airplane. Exhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to knee. Lengthen arm in front, leg back, look in front. And place the palm down, place the knee down. Left arm all the way up, open your chest towards the left side, look up. Swing it from the back all the way towards the front, left arm in front, right leg back. Think about your fingers reaching forward and thumb reaching up. So the palm is open towards the right side of your space. Yes, exactly. Beautiful, Nicholas. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. And now send the left arm towards the left side, 90 degree angle. And send the right knee towards the right side, 90 degree angle in the knee. Opening up to the side, inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, chin away from chest, open. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to knee. Send the left arm in front, the right leg back. And place the palm, place the knee down. Tuck the toes under and lift yourself up to your first downer facing dog. And this is the first downer facing dog of your day and maybe the first mindful movement that you're taking today. So move around, notice how it feels, what's more tight, what's more relaxed. It's like you're asking your body, how does it feel? But you're really asking it. You're really waiting for an honest answer rather than I'm fine, everything's fine. So notice, move around, start to explore your body. Maybe bend one knee and then the other, maybe move the heels from side to side. You can shift your weight back and forth. You can nod the head yes and no. Just allow yourself to really explore your body in a way that belongs to you today. Exhale all the air out. Deep inhale in. And H-A. Let's start to specify. We're gonna send the sit bones up towards the ceiling and the back of the legs towards the back of your space. Now look in between, look at your palms and notice that you're spreading your fingers wide so you feel the webbings in between. Then drop the head heavy, soften the shoulder blades down your back, pull the navel in, creating this upside down V shape in the body. Exhale out. Deep inhale in. And H -A. Inhale, shift the weight, shoulders over wrists, upper push up plank. Exhale, send the, sit, send the sit bones up, drop the head heavy, downer facing dog. Inhale, upper plank. Exhale, downer facing. Inhale, upper plank. Exhale, downer facing dog and start to walk with your palms back towards your feet until you'll make it to standing in the back of your mat. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Allow yourself to sway around like a raggedy and a randy. Let go of any tension. Allow yourself to feel like spine is dripping down towards the mat. Inhale, walk your hands on your shins, maybe up to your thighs halfway. Crown of the head reaching forward, chin away from chest, exactly. Exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Inhale, swing the arms all the way up to standing in your mountain pose, Tadasana. So rotate the pinkies inwards, drop the shoulders down. Pull navel in, tuck tailbone under, and close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Allow this moment to belong to you. Let yourself shine and rise within your body. Own this ability to stand in your body, to expand and open and breathe. What does it mean, especially in these days where we maybe sit more than usual and we stay in the same space more than usual? Really stand, really rise within your body. Notice what type of breath you can offer this moment. On the next inhale, open your eyes. Look up towards your fingers, send your fingers back and follow your fingers with your gaze. Reach up, go back, find a gentle back bend. 
and exhale, palms together, hinge of the hips, soften it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, follow your fingers back, go up, go back, rise up, rise back. And exhale, relax down, hinge of hinge the hips, forward fold. Three more times, one breath, one movement. Inhale, I rise. Exhale, I fall. Find your own rhythm, maybe close your eyes. You're standing in one place. There's nothing to see here. There's everything to feel. Beautiful, guys. Really find your rhythm. Make this practice yours. Hmm. Yes, beautiful, Coco. And after three times, we'll meet down in a forward fold. Allow yourself to sway and let go. Inhale, walk your hands on your shins, maybe up to thighs. Find your Arda, halfway lift, lengthen your spine forward. And exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Plant the palms on the mat and start to walk them forward until you'll find your upper push-up plank. So we have shoulders, elbows, and wrists stacked in one line. Think about your heels reaching back and the crown of the head is reaching forward. So you're lengthening the body in both different directions. It's going to allow you to keep your hips a little bit high up. Inhale, press it away from the mat and exhale, lower down halfway through. Now, if your butt is collapsing down, drop your knees instead. If you can keep your hips high, then, then keep yourself with your knees up high. Inhale, shine the heart forward. Roll the shoulders back. If knees were down, keep them down now. If knees were up, see if you can keep your hips off the mat. Look all the way up. And exhale, send yourself all the way back into your downer facing dog. Exhale out. Deep inhale in. And H A. On your next inhale, reach the right leg up and back behind you. Start with length. So think that there's an invisible wall right behind you and you're trying to push that wall back. So the hip is still rotating down towards the mat to start with. Beautiful, Tanae, exactly. Send it all the way back and then bend the knee, flex the foot like you're trying to stand on the ceiling. Don't open the hip yet. So think about sole of the foot up, knee up, but don't open the hip. Inhale. Exhale, now open your hip towards the right side. Maybe peek underneath the right arm. And then if it feels right, flip your dog into your wild thing. Bring the right foot outside your left outer edge of the mat. Press both of your feet to the mat. Squeeze your feet to the mat. Squeeze your hips up high and lift up. Inhale. And exhale, bring your palm down and send the right leg up and back behind you. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, reach the leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it up. Using that same core strength, gently press the foot in between your hands. Make sure the foot get all the way between the hands. Then rotate the back heel down so you find a 45 degree angle with the back foot and reach the arms all the way up into your warrior one, Virabhadrasana A. So the back heel is pressing against the mat and the outer edge of the back foot is pressing. From that, you're gonna feel a rotation of both of your hips towards the front of the room. You wanna think about your left hip forward and right hip back. I love that everyone's starting to be hot and I can see it with everyone taking off their clothes and putting their towels. Good. We're doing good. Keep on reaching upper body all the way up, but soften the shoulders all the way down at the same time. Breathe here. Close the eyes. Make this warrior one yours by offering it a genuine breath that belongs to you. Inhale. And exhale, blossom open, warrior two. So we're keeping the legs right as they are. Knee and toes are looking towards the front. We're tacking the tailbone down and under and sending our middle fingers in two different directions. Pa um, gaze past the right fingers towards the front of your room. Looks super nice. So Jennifer, think about instead of sending upper body forward, keep yourself right at the center of your pelvis. 
Yes, exactly. Keep tucking the tailbone down and under. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Bring your foot back and move through your flow. Upper push-up plank to lower push-up plank. Upper facing dog, shine your heart forward. Beautiful, Howard. And exhale all the way back, downer facing dog. On the next inhale, left leg up and back behind you. Starting with that length, send it like you're trying to push and kick into an invisible wall behind you. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, bend the knee, flex the foot like you're trying to stand on the ceiling. Solve the foot up, knee up, don't open the hip yet, inhale. Exhale, now open your hip towards the left side. Peek underneath the left arm, lift that knee all the way up, up, up. And from here, if it feels right, you can flip your dog and send the foot all the way outside the left up, the right outer edge of the mat. Press your feet to the mat, squeeze your hips up high. Beautiful, Stacia, hi. And then rotate all the way back. Send the left leg up and back behind you, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and round your spine. The foot is hovering, it's not on the mat. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it up and back. And bring the foot all the way between your hands. Make sure the foot got all the way in between those palms. Rotate the back heel down. Place both of your heels on the mat. Press evenly through both feet and reach the arms all the way up high. Soften those shoulders down, rotate the hips towards the front. And we wanna rotate pinky fingers just a tad bit towards one another. Yes, that was beautiful, Donna, because it will allow us to soften the shoulders even more. Tucking the tailbone down and under, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot, opening the chest towards the front, breathe. Inhale, and exhale, blossom open, warrior two. Send those middle fingers in two different directions. Notice the knee and toes are still facing the front, so we're opening into that um, left hip. And keep on sitting down and low. Yes, yes, that was a beautiful down and low, everyone. Close the eyes, make this moment yours. And even if you feel that fatigue in the arms, keep on reaching them. As much as you're gonna reach more, you're gonna actually feel more solid here. Inhale, and exhale, cartwheel the hands down, bring your foot back, move through your flow, upper plank to lower plank, upper facing dog, shine that heart forward, all the way back to your downer facing dog, beautiful James. And now it's all yours, one breath, one movement, warrior one to your warrior two, with or without the core work at the beginning with the knee to your, the nose, whatever you want, make it yours. Move in a way that satisfies your breath, that satisfies your body. And if you can, even for a tad bit, Close your eyes. You know how when you taste new food or when you dance or when you kiss, you wanna close the eyes because you wanna be present with the sensation? Do it now. And if it gets you off balance, then it gets you off balance, who cares? Breathe through whatever is yours. Deepen that moment for you. It doesn't need to look like anything, but it needs to feel like a whole lot. Inhale, I move. Exhale, I move again. When you're done with your left side, move into your left side body. Warrior one, warrior two. If you're back and you're down or facing dog, keep yourself in it, really specify it. If it's available in your breath, exhale all the air out. Deep inhale in. 
And H-A. On your next inhale, reach the right leg up and back behind you. This time, open your hip right away. Look underneath the right arm. And on an exhale, bring your right elbow, your right knee to the outside of the left elbow. Inhale, open the hip to the right side. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. One more time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Then reach it all the way up. And bring the foot all the way between your hands. Rotate the back heel down. Have both of your feet on the mat. On an inhale, reach the arms up to your warrior one. On your exhale, blossom open into your warrior two. We've been here already. Notice what have changed, if anything has changed. The breath. How solid does this moment feel? On an inhale, flip your front palm. Send it towards the front of your space and take it all the way up, up, up and back like you're painting a really wide rainbow. Use your back hand on your back leg to be able to find support into that reaching of the right fingers up and back, finding more space in between your right set of ribs. This is a side stretch rather than a back stretch. So really feel that it's the side of your body that you're opening up. This looks super nice, guys. Reach it up, reach it back. And exhale, bring your right palm to the inside of the right foot. Find your side angle. Stacking the shoulders one on top of the other. Send the left fingers all the way up towards the ceiling to start with, opening the chest towards your um, left side. Inhale. And exhale, send the right fingers towards the front of your space, bicep by the ear, extended side angle. Take a moment here, and if it feels right, you can bring your lower arm to meet your right arm. Palms are facing one another. Notice we're not collapsing into the front leg. We're lifted here. There's a nice little angle here between torso and front leg. Inhale, rotate and open, and then bring your left palm down and right arm up, finding your reverse side angle. Try to keep your back heel down. If possible, you can bring the back foot a little bit closer. Look all the way up, if possible. Inhale. And exhale, bring both of your palms down to the mat. If your back heel was up before, now place it down. And take the right arm underneath and around the right leg. Grab your ankle with both of your hands. Think about your right shoulder underneath your right knee. Drop your head heavy here. Don't let the head do the work here. Once you understand where you go, make it yours and drop the head. Keep sitting low into the lunge. The front leg is still in a 90 degree angle. And from here, if it feels right, you can send your left arm over and up. Find both fingers together underneath your right thigh and start to open yourself up into your body. So we're trying to find fingers together. And if you can't find fingers, you can grab your pants here. So I showed it to you from the front. Let me show it to you from the side as well. Opening up the chest towards the left side, grabbing your pants or your fingers. Breathe here. This is a lot. Let the body breathe. Inhale. Exhale, both palms on the mat. Press through both of your feet and reach the arms all the way back behind you into your powerful lunge. The palms are looking down towards the mat. Send the arms back behind you, but keep on reaching all the way towards the front. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, send the arms back behind you, powerful lunge. Inhale up. Exhale, back behind you. Inhale up. Exhale, back behind you. Interlace the fingers. Open your chest towards the front, collarbones towards the front. Then send the arm all the way in front. Lengthen your body forward. 
and bring the palms down, bring the foot back and move through your flow, upper plank to lower plank, upper facing dog, all the way back to downer facing dog. And if you need, allow yourself to bend one knee and then the other. We did a lot of work on that, on that right leg and quad and hamstring. All the muscles are probably talking now. Exhale all the air out. Deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. On your next inhale, left leg up and back behind you. Open, bend at the knee, open towards the left side, inhale. Exhale, bring your left knee to the outside of the right elbow, rotating to the side, the foot is up in the air. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach it up and back, look in front, and bring the foot all the way between your hands. Rotate the back heel down, both of your feet are on the mat. Reach the arms up to your warrior one, and blossom open into your warrior two. Beautiful, guys. Keep on sitting down low into your lunge. Knee is right on top of ankle. You can look down. If you can see your toes, then take your knee just a tad bit back. Reach the arms. Keep on lengthening them like you're trying to push both sides of the walls and in, in, in the sides of the walls in your room. Inhale, flip your front palm, left arm. Send it towards the front. Take it up, 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 and back. Find your reverse warrior, peaceful warrior. Looks super nice, guys. Yes. Back hand is on the back leg to lift yourself further up and back. If you wrap it around, make sure you wrap it all the way through, really grabbing the front hip so it allows you to open even more. Yes, Alicia, beautiful. Reach it up, reach it back. And exhale, bring your left palm to the inside of the left foot and send those right fingers all the way up, finding your side angle. Look up if it's available in your breath. Inhale. And exhale, swing it from the back all the way towards the front, bicep by the ear, extended side angle. Notice you're not putting all of the weight into the left palm and then if possible, lift it and bring it to meet the right. Allow yourself to find this opening of the whole body towards the right side in that core strength in our inhale, open. And exhale, right palm down, left arm up into your reverse side angle. If possible, back heel is staying down. You can bring the back foot a tad bit closer to find it. Looks super nice, Angela. Inhale. Exhale, both palms down. If the heel was lifted before, let's drop it down now. Take the left arm underneath and around the left leg and grab your ankle with both of your palms. Drop your head heavy down. Feel the work in your left side. Feel that burn. Breathe into it. Make it yours. Own it. Own your effort. And then if it feels right, start to open up into your bind. We're sending the right arm up and over and trying to find our fingers underneath the left arm. Notice it's not close to the butt, but rather it's close to the knee. It's gonna make it easier for you to open up into the bind. And if you can't find your fingers and you have like a scarf or a shirt next to you, you can definitely grab that and then allow yourself to find that bind. Inhale. Exhale, both palms down on the mat. Keep yourself in that lunge. Exhale. Inhale, send the arms back behind you. Palms are looking down towards the mat. Keep pressing through the back foot. Send the collarbones forward, powerful lunge. Inhale, reach it up, warrior one. Exhale, send the arms back behind you. Airplane wings, powerful lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, powerful lunge. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, powerful lunge. This time, interlace the fingers behind you. Press the roots of the palms together. Open your chest forward. Then start to send the arms in front. Keep on supporting, pulling the core inward. Send yourself forward and drop the palms down. Bring your foot back and move through your flow. Upper plank to lower plank. Upper facing dog all the way back to downer facing dog. Exhale out. Deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. On the next inhale, look in between your hands and lightly walk or jump towards the front of the mat, forward fold. Bend both of your knees and place two fists between your feet. Hug your fists with your feet so you find your own anatomical hips with distance. Inhale, halfway lengthen your body forward. Exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, arms up into your Utkata Asana chair pose. So we're sitting down into this tiny invisible chair right underneath you. Look down, make sure your knees are not covering your toes. That's as much as you are taking yourself all the way back. Palms are looking towards one another and send them up towards the seam in between the front wall and the ceiling in your space. Exactly, reaching all the way up, hug the rib cage inwards, send the weight all the way back. Reach the arms all the way up and relax it down, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, arms up, second set, chair pose. So we just generated a muscle memory. Let's go into the last bit of movement that we found in our chair pose and see if you can support moving further deeper into it but really support it, really feel if that's in you, if it feels right, sit lower, if you feel that you wanna support that idea, reach all the way up, up higher, open your chest, sit lower, reach higher, new edge in your body, close your eyes, breathe here, breathe, this is yours. Inhale. And exhale, relax all the way down, forward, fall. Third and last, hips down, arms up. Find your third chair pose. Close the eyes. You have no one around you, so you can't see anything. So this is yours. That means that you're gonna decide how much you wanna push yourself into it, or do you need to facilitate a space that is a little bit more gentle today? You're always gonna be your best teacher. You know what you need in order to generate an honest moment inside of you. So close your eyes, there's nothing you can see, but choose for yourself. And if this is time for you to drop into your forward fold, drop, it's yours, own it. And if you still wanna sit into it and feel the burn, feel the burn. And if you wanna drop and come back, drop and come back. Take ownership as of what you need. Wherever you are, take a big inhale in. And if you haven't done so yet, drop down, forward, fold. Bend one knee and then the other, let go. Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, soften down, forward, fold. Plant the palms on the mat, walk or jump back, move through your flow. Beautiful. Exhale out. Deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. Yes, that was beautiful, guys. Inhale, right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Exhale out, 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 out. Bring the foot in between your hands gently. Keep the back heel lifted. Press both of your feet to the mat and reach up into your high lunge. So the back heel is lifted, looking towards the back of your space rather than down towards the mat. And you keep on activating that back leg, lifting it all the way up. Inhale. 
Exhale, bring your palms together and lower them down, heart center, namaskar. Puff the chest. And then left elbow outside of the right knee. We'll start to find our side prayer. Bring your thumbs to heart center, namaskar. Press the arm into the leg, the leg into the arm. If it feels right, if thumbs are at heart center, right arm up, left arm down. Maybe look up towards the ceiling if it's available in the neck. If it's too much, look towards your right side or down towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale, bring both of your palms back together and lift yourself up into your high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, bring the palms down. Travel with your fingers forward. Lift your left leg off the mat, supported warrior three. And then bring the left foot to meet the right. Feet are together to touch. Bend one and then the other first. Ease any tension that's in your right leg. And then strain both legs. Drop the head heavy. Inhale halfway. Exhale, soften down. Forward fold. On the next inhale, hips down, arms up, palms press this time around into your thunderbolt. So we're sitting down and low. We're squeezing the legs all the, all the way together, sending the weight back to the heels, pressing the palms together, tuck the tailbone down and under, hug the ribcage inwards, sitting down and low. Inhale, open, and then lift yourself up to standing. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Soften the shoulders all the way down. From here, start to think fingers to the right, hips to the left. Open up an arch in your left side body. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your buttocks together. Chin away from chest to open the chest towards the front for three, for two, for one. Bring yourself back to center, inhale, look up. Exhale, palms together, hinge of the hips, lower all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, soften and let go. Plant the palms on the mat, walk or jump back, move through your flow. On the next inhale, left leg up and back behind you. Bring your knee to your nose, exhale, exhale, exhale out, and bring the foot all the way in between the palms. Keep the back heel lifted, looking towards the back of your space, and reach the arms all the way up into your high lunge. Press evenly through both of your feet, so even though the back heel is lifted, you're pressing the balls of the feet and really using them to find stability, activate that back leg. Inhale, bring your palms together, lower it down, heart center, namaskar. Puff the chest, and now it's right elbow outside of left knee. Press the elbow into the knee, the knee into the elbow, and open up to the side. Activating the back leg, and if thumbs are at heart center, send your left arm up and right arm down. Open up into your flyaway. Beautiful, guys. Inhale. Exhale, bring the palms back together. Lift yourself up. Find your high lunge. Inhale. Send the arms up and bring the palms down. Travel with your fingers forward. Lift your right leg off the mat. Fingers are on the mat. Supported warrior three. And bring the right foot to meet the left. Feet are together to touch. Squeeze your feet together all the way. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale halfway. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, hips down, arms up, palms pressed into your thunderbolt. Sit down and low, send the weight back to your heels. Yes, that was so beautiful, Nicholas. Inhale. And exhale, lift yourself all the way up, straighten. Interlace the fingers. Interlace them the other way now, other thumb on top, the way it feels a little weird, straightening the legs, inhale. And now send the fingers towards the left, the hips towards the right. Open up into your right set of ribs, chin away from chest. Squeeze inner thighs, squeeze your buttocks for three, for two, for one. Lift yourself up, look up. Palms together, hinge of the hips, soften down, forward fold. 
plant the palms on the mat, walk or jump your feet back, move through your flow. Shift the weight, shoulders over wrists, upper push-up plank. Press it away, inhale. Exhale, lower down, halfway down. Inhale, press away. Exhale, lower down, two-thirds of the way down. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, lower down and hover over the mat. Keep on pressing the arms into the sides of the body and then press it away and all the way back down our facing dog. Adho Mukha Shanasana. Exhale out. Deep inhale in. And H-A. Inhale, right leg up and back behind you. And send it through to your half pigeon. So in our half pigeon, we have the knee wider than the shoulder or the hip, moving the right knee all the way to the right edge of your mat. Then tuck your left toes under and send your left knee a few more centimeters back. Let go of the toes so you can open more into that right hip joint. And from here, see if you wanna keep your palms on the mat. Maybe you can bring your forearms to the mat and maybe forehead will touch the mat. Whatever is right for you. Allow yourself to open up into that right hip joint. So we're working super hard and we're creating vigorous moments in the body and we're putting so much effort into the body. And then throughout, towards the end of our practice, we start to open up into our hip joints. And our hip joints, they hold so many moments inside. Our legs carry us all day, every day. They support us. And often our hip joints start to become like a storage space to moments we were not able to facilitate for ourselves in the past. So in this moment here, whatever it is that you're feeling here, whether if it's impatience or if you feel this edginess inside, or if you feel sadness, or if you feel joy, whatever comes up, allow yourself to really rinse it out of the body by keep on breathing super deep and keeping yourself in the moment. Close the eyes. Open into that right hip joint. See what it needs from you. See what you needed. And gently start to lift yourself up. Bring the palms closer to the body. Open the chest towards the front. Bring your palms to the mat. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. Send the right leg up and back behind you. One leg down or facing dog. And drop the right leg down. Left leg all the way up. And send it through to your half pigeon on your left side. Tuck the right toes under to send the right knee a few more inches back, then let go of the toes. And allow yourself to drop down, maybe to palms, maybe to forearms, maybe forehead. We'll relax down onto your mat. And don't predicate and decide what your left side is gonna feel like just because you've taken a moment that resembles the left side in your right side body. We're creating a new moment. We're creating a new opportunity for us to feel and squeeze and open into our body. So clean this moment up for you. Clean your thoughts, your expectations, your need for symmetry. This is all our mind. Let that go. And instead try to open yourself up into the authenticity that we can find in the poses into how sensitive or vulnerable opening up the hips can be for us. Breathe through it. Make this moment yours. What am I made of with every inhaling? 
What am I made of? With every exhale out. And gently start to lift yourself up. Lift upper body all the way. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then send the left leg all the way up, one leg down or facing dog, inhale. And exhale, relax the leg down. Exhale out. Deep inhale. In. In H-A. Drop your knees down to the mat. Come to standing on your knees. So we'll come into our camel. Camel is the biggest back bend that we take, but more than a back bend, it's really a front opener. And we want to treat it as a front, as a heart opener, as a front opener, instead of collapsing into flexibility of our lower back. So in order to find it, we're gonna bring both of our hands to our lower back. The fingers will look down. And think about your elbows reaching towards one another. So already you find that openness in the chest. From here, send your hips forward. Send your bottom rib up towards the ceiling. And only then relax your head back. If you see the floor behind you, you can drop your hands to your heels if you feel confident enough. And let's breathe here. Try to breathe as deep as you can. Create a moment that you can facilitate, meaning that we keep on sending the hips forward throughout it. Stay in it if you can. A few more breaths. This moment is major, it's overwhelming. And so if that's what you're feeling, you're in the right place. And then gently start to bring your hands back to your lower back. Lift yourself up and drop yourself down. We'll sit here in Japanese style if that feels okay with your feet. If not, and you prefer Indian style, do that, or any other sitting that feels right for you. You can relax your arms on your legs, or you can bring them to heart center, namaskar on your heart, or anything else that resonates with you. We'll bring a moment in our quiet sitting. Close the eyes, tuck the chin in. Especially after a camel, it's a moment that can feel really overwhelming, opening this part of the body that we often protect. Think about how many times you sit cross-handed. So in this moment when we're super open, just offer yourself gratitude that you chose to support your body that you chose to support your movements, to support your breaths. In our day-to-day -day lives, often we support our actions just if we get the right appreciation from an external resource. We try to blend in, we wanna fit in, we wanna make sure that we're not, you know, crossing any lines. And when we come to the body, we often is careful. We wanna make sure that we're not interfering with anyone else. But when we come to our yoga, we notice that our body is completely ours, that our experience first and most importantly belongs to us. And often by respecting our own experience, we actually facilitate a space for others to do the same, to respect their own experience their own freedom that they can find in their body. So thank yourself for that, for facilitating a space for you to move, for showing up here on your mat, facilitating a space for dozens of people to do the same, to create a moment that's all yours, but supporting so many others creating their own moment. And take a long, deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. Flatter the eyes open super gently. Relax the arms. Send your legs in front of you. 
We're gonna move into our sitting forward fold. If you have a sofa or a wall next to you, use it. We wanna press our feet against something that is solid. Now, the reason I want us to use something solid in front of us is because we won't be able to drop and let go. We'll have to keep on engaging the legs. It will allow us to notice the sit bones pressing against the mat more, and you'll be able to really forward fold, fold your upper body on top of the legs. So take an inhale, send the arms up, and exhale, relax them in front of you. And if your arms are making it all the way to your feet, you can grab your toes, you can grab the soles of the feet. And if they're not making it all the way through, wherever you are, press into your legs and think about your heart reaching forward so your spine stays straight here. Breathe here, suck the belly in. Keep on reaching forward, keep your spine straight. Feel the hamstrings lengthening. And then gently drop the head, tuck the chin in, and now vertebra by vertebra, come all the way up to sitting. Bend your knees, scooch the fleshy parts away from the sit bones and lift your legs up either in a 90 degree angle or straight and bring your palms together to touch. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, separate the palms. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, lengthen. Scissor kick the legs for five, four, three, two. Send arms, slice up by the ears. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your head down to the mat. Bend your knees towards your chest, relax the head heavy, interlace the fingers or grab opposite elbow with opposite hand and just allow yourself to sway from side to side. Give your spine a massage. And then grab both of your feet with both of your hands, open them up into your happy baby dead bug pose. And allow yourself to sway from side to side. Get a little bit more playful here. And in your own time, relax the legs down to your final Shava Asana. Legs are spread in front. Arms are either by the sides of the body to share the energy. Or one hand to the heart and one to the stomach if you need a more intimate moment. And yeah, put on a shirt or put on a blanket, whatever is feel right for you to relax further down. Shava Asana. This moment is yours and it's as meaningful, if not even more meaningful than any other asana we've taken because in here we learn how to let go and stay present. Often we feel that in order to let go, we need to be somewhere else, somebody else. And when we come to our yoga, we teach ourselves what does it mean to let go, to surrender to our body, to surrender to our true experience. So stay inside of it. Make this moment yours. What am I made of with every inhaling? What am I made of with every exhale out? Lying here in this final Shava Asana, just leave one ear open. First and most important for a huge thank you for showing up for creating this amazing community that keeps on thriving, no matter if it's in a virtual world, it's still a reality that we create. We are still able to come together in whatever way is possible in our world right now. And we so very appreciate it. Yoga to the people is donation-based. It's the acts of love and kindness that you leave for us that allows this community to thrive, that allows 
this intention to keep on being offered to the world, to whoever needs the yoga rather than whoever can afford it. Thank you for supporting each other, for supporting us in that initiative. If you're in a position to give in our website, yeah, I'll have a little donate button. And these are greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you can give today, that's okay. Someone else got your back and just keep on coming back. Keep on making this moment yours. We'll end the practice with a quote, a breath, and the ringing of the Tibetan singing bowl. You're going to realize it one day that happiness was never about your job or your degree or being in a relationship. One day you're going to see it that happiness was always about the discovery, the hope, the listening to your heart. Happiness was always about being kinder to yourself. It was always about embracing the person you were becoming. One day you will understand that happiness was always about learning how to live with yourself. That happiness was never in the hands of other people. It was always about you. Exhale all the air out one more time. Take the longest, the deepest inhale in. And H-A. Gently bring some movement to your fingers and toes. And bring yourself all the way back to sitting. Keep your eyes closed just for one more moment and your hands at heart center. And just thank yourself about facilitating that space for yourself and for so many others around you. Take a big inhale in. And H-A. Namaste. Thank you all so, so much for joining us today.